Okay, that one's just, you know, he's cool. And he's cool. Weird. I won't hold it against them if I can just walk past them. Uh, that That's fine. This kind of looks a little bit like America Temple, but wrong. My controller just turned off. Thank you. Thank you, sporadic Bluetooth. Black Steel Grey Hammer and Black Knight Gauntlets. Whoa. Black Knight Gauntlets. Gauntlets worn by the Black Knight, servants of Mesmer the Impaler. Black iron ornamented with gold, a rotten odour stubbornly clings to it. Perhaps it arises from the tainted nature of the blood that splattered upon it, or perhaps it's the wearer's own black and soul festering after endless slaughter. Black Steel Great Hammer, weapon of the Black Knight, servants of Mesper the Impaler. Great Hammer of Black Steel with decorative embellishments in gold. Blessed with an Erd Tree incantation. Further holy imbuement will amplify the effect and greatly increase the armament's power. Guard counters cause a burst of power. We've seen the mobs actually do this. Uh, assume an anchored stance to brace for incoming attacks. Endure, briefly boosting poise. Damage taken while using the skill is reduced. I like this. This is not bad. Lose my int scaling there. Yeah, maybe at some point I'll try and use something like this. It's going to have really cool uh, guard counters. Cause a burst of power. It'd be pretty neat. I have to try it against somebody like basic and uh, see how we do. Hmm. So the light attack looks like this, and the heavy attack looks exactly the same, but you just hold it for a bit longer. Kinda, kinda fun. Oh, it is America Temple. I was right, I had the right kind of uh, idea. But they've cut her head off. Church of Consolation. 
statue's head is just missing. I guess it could have been the weather, but, you know. Oh, we got two skidoo tree fragments in the one loop. Excellent. That might do both at once. This might get me killed, but I'm going to try out this hammer on this guy. If I can. That was really cool. I like that weapon. For a plus zero, it actually kind of did a lot of very fun things, and it had like a lot of poise damage on it. Blessing of America, times one. Yikes. Oh, I fell for it again. For God's sake. But yeah, I should, I should, I should get that plussed up. Give it a whirl. I hate when you press L3 sometimes and it doesn't allow you to get off the horse. There's just certain areas where you can stand in the game that just doesn't allow you to dismount. So awkward. Not a big deal, but it happens. Any secrets under the waterfall? Doesn't look like it. He's got a uh, an alarm horn. Let's see if we can get him. There's a lot of soldiers sitting down in these camps, just you know, relaxing. They don't seem to get off up too often, so we'll just we'll just leave them there doing their thing. We are the hero, after all. New fire coil in the throwing and consumable section. I think I learned how to craft them with a book recently. A device of fire used by Mesmer soldiers, lingering embers bundled into a coil, craft lime, uses FP to conjure tiny fire snakes from the spot that it is thrown. The writhing snakes pursue foes. Fire was a symbol of the crusade, and even Mesmer's rank of fire soldiers would wield it. Wield it. Yeah. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. They had a deer in their camp. That's weird. And it's a sheer cliff of doom. 
So we went here for the Church of Constellation, but there's no there's no map chunk for whatever we're doing now. And it kind of just uh, it doesn't really look like a safe drop to me. I'm gonna be honest with you. Huh. I don't think we can get to this building. I think once again it's off the side of this cliff, but didn't see any anything else to do where we were. Oh. Isn't this the cave that we started in? Yeah. But it's not like a through cave. So let's try and go around the right. Maybe we can reach whatever this is this way. Oh god! It's the end of the universe. Ah! Yeah, there's a hole in the universe there. Don't 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 slide down that. Doesn't work. Yeah, I don't know how the heck we're getting down there, but we, we ain't doing it this way. Oh, it could be this other path that we start off over here at. Maybe. I'm gonna go check out this first. So much to do, so much to see. Cut straight across the field. more of those weird worms. What, uh, what's this? Oh. Okay. Just like, bam, here's a, here's a boss duel. It's not secret, it's not hidden, it's just in your face. Western Nameless Mausoleum. Let's give it a quick go. Black Jail Knight. Um. Ah, 
I I might have to respect my character into health to play this. I I don't know. We'll keep looking around a bit for today, you know, just for fun, just for goof. But it could, could be the first thing tomorrow is that we just, you know, we go for a billion health and maybe try and do things that way. I mean, I just, I just have to keep reminding myself, I'm not on a timer to complete this game. And you know, if people are, are watching the video today, live, or later on on YouTube in the future, because it will be up there forever, uh, you know, if they, if they don't like the pace, then maybe, maybe someone else is for them, and I'm okay with that. We can't all enjoy everything. And if I'm doing it too slow, then just find someone who's super fast. Ah, my oldest foe with bats. That's a grapple. No thank you, sir. No grapples for me. Oh, double no. Poor save point. Let's rumble, guys. I'm not afraid of you. Do some of the uh, my damage up and their damage down blessing. It's nice. Keep on trying to make the game a little bit easier. So, okay. By taking that route, we've got up to this upper area. 
Now, I don't know if there's anything along the top backwards towards where we came from. But what we do know is that we're looking down over this. We can get into this upstairs area. Maybe if we can make it all the way down here, we can make it down to that lower level. That looked really cool with all the red flooring. First and foremost, I think we're trying to head in this direction. Yeah, look at that. That looks, that looks nice. Nice town. Lots of big mean monsters next to it, but a nice town nonetheless. Hmm. Okay, so we're not up there. We're down here. Okay. I was a little bit wrong about when I, where I was looking on the map, but... This seems interesting. Oh, it's the other kind of dog from earlier in the game. So these are all Mikola statues, I think. Because, you know, the weird freaky uh, hands like we interacted with to get to the DLC and it drops the Mikola blessing. I think so. Hey, these must be some of the Thunder Rams. But we'll never know, because I, I slaughtered them. There's a giant one over there. Wow. Uh oh, even the small ones are aggressive. Greater Potentate's Cookbook number five. Let's get out of the lightning. Probably shouldn't move to higher ground in a lightning storm in real life. Hey, a house. The ruins of a house, I suppose? Of course it's a painter's house, why wouldn't it be? Looks kinda cool. The glowing bridge above might be the one that I've been going across, that bridge. But uh, as for being below it, I don't think I've been below it. The incursion painting. Looks cool. So that was the, yeah, that was the, oh no, I'm thinking of over here. So this is another Marika temple, Marika church. We haven't been to this one. Can we safely get down there? Doesn't really look like it. It's quite the drop. Let's follow this path along, see if we can see any other way of getting down there. Maybe we can get onto the roof. Whoa. 
that looks a bit. Nah, that looks a bit crazy, man. I don't think we can do that. If you could get onto this pillar, though, and onto that one, you might you might be able to do it. like the correct way down. Oink. And then this way. Crazy boar followed me. Hopefully the bear doesn't follow me. Ah, I thought we saw something weird there earlier when we were looking. One of those guys. There's rats. The rats might be the worst part. Those guys. I'm going that way again, man. I'm getting to my church. No one can keep me away from church. mean to kill the, uh, I don't know, the, the goat nearby, which is probably what made this one mad. I just kind of, I preempted another spell on the rat. these guys? And he didn't... Oh! There was a talk option with him.
hoping the, um, the mob hitting him didn't ruin things, but let's talk to a, a, a millipede man. Yes, the thing hitting him kind of bugged him out. We'll re reload and then uh, try that again, shall we? Oh yeah. Man, this is freaky. I wonder what the voice sounds like. Forager Brood Cookbook 2 and Black Fireflies. Ah. Huh. Oh. The foragers are those guys? Whoa, no wonder the guy said, oh yeah, don't don't attack the foragers, they're on your team. Of course he needed to say something like that to me, because normally I would have would have been a bit skeptical. A record of crafting techniques left by the non-human forager brood, shared out of kindness towards Moore and his kin. Acquire the knowledge to craft the following. Fireproof pickled liver. Weird man. Alright, so we'll get to about here. Fight off any rats that have uh, made it this far. Go from there. A lot of his shots went right over my head. I did manually get off the horse there, it wasn't an innovation. <laughs> oh no. Never rule it out when approaching a temple. Blessed Blue Jew Talisman. Is this going to regenerate my mana? Whoa! Talisman depicting the blessed boon that is the droplet of the blue, luminescent sap of the earth tree, gradually restores FP. 
It was once thought that the blessed sap of the earth tree would drip from its boughs forever, but that age of plenty swiftly came to a close, and with time the earth tree became an ob more of an object of faith. I think the the end of that tall tip's the same as the health one. Yep. Instead of the great shield talisman. Hmm. Maybe, maybe not. I kind of need a fifth talisman slot. Hey, looking at the UI, we could have like a five and a six talisman. Have them go up and around the corner there. would be pretty cool. Yeah. Having that as an option. So tempted. So tempted. Yeah, cool loot would fight my way down here again. Both Seeker Knight Greaves, Gauntlet's Knight and Helm, and a Patar, which is a weapon. I think that's the the jabby fist weapons. There it is. A weapon comprised of a of a linear, double-sided blade attached to a substantial guard, wielded by the Oathseeker Knights. This versatile armament can be swung about like a fist, or used in the manner of a straight sword. The guys in towards the end of the Lies of P were using this kind of weapon, and I'm more like, that's not how you swing a, a rapier. I guess it's, you know, it's supposed to be like a hand jabber. I think this was a rapier, though. I don't think it was attached to their arm. It was weird. Um, skill, Impaling Thrust, which we've seen before. Overcome enemy shields, build power, lunge forwards, yeah, cool. And the armor, which looked kind of groovy. It's, it's one, you know, heavyweight down, I guess, from what we've been using. In category. An Oath Seeker Knight Helm. Black with gold ornamentation, these knights set off on quests of discovery, hoping to find by themselves an oath of their own choosing to serve in perfect, lifelong devotion. It's a really nice looking armor set. Yeah, weight limit aside, mine's kind of better in every single way what I was wearing. Great though. Hmm. We're getting uh, less close to that ground level that we're looking for, but over here, see what's happening. Hmm. This could get us back down to the. The field below, should we have wanted it? I guess that's that cave that I was walking in and out of. Yeah, looks like. So is it not possible for us to go down here? We know we can head towards Prospect Town, easy breezy, but what about down there? I guess if I mark this bit with the one, 
we're heading for one and then we'll try and head back towards two. So one is exactly here, but down, like the map's not accurate to the, to the location. There's no way to just go down. I anchored the big one again. No. So these guys can get what they deserve. Yeah, this map's just wrong. So what's going on with Prospect Town? I was holding block, but apparently my character was still getting up, so still did. Oof. Goodbye, souls. This area has a big troll population. Nope, oh, this isn't how we get into Prospector Town. Oh, this looks good. This looks good. Ugh. It's 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 fill more trolls.
I did hear something munching on food behind me up there. I wonder what that's going to turn out to be. Probably something super evil. Ah, oh, it so looked like that could be a secret wall. Wasn't there? There's lots of, uh, lots of gross stuff going on that way. Let's go put an end to that. Wasn't even close. Hey, Shrine America, though. Wow, a jump attack grapple that just, he just stabs you to death. <laughs> I want to get in there and get my souls, though. Not today, fella. I dodged left. I kill them, they kill me. Everybody happy. No one left out. Blood Fiend's Fork obtained. Oops. Huh. Did that guy back there just cast the Nihil 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 on me from Moog? Shame I didn't get that piece of loot, it was purple.
He does seem to drop it every time, eh? Blood Fiend's arm. And it's a weapon. I don't know what kind of weapon it is. Is the Blood Fiend's fork. Weapon used by the Blood Fiends. Three teens, tines of carved bone spear, the victim to provoke blood loss. Ritual implement for blood offerings for the formless mother. At times the Blood Fiends will spill even their own blood using these forks. So the formless mother I do believe is what? Lobes maybe worshipping? Can't remember. Completely. Oh, here's the other arm. Blood Fiend's arm is like a colossal weapon. Weapon used for the Blood Fiends, an arm pulled from the corpse of one of their kin and wielded as a makeshift weapon. Having been having been sanctified by a blood ritual, this armament is capable of spraying blood stored within when executing a strong attack. Gross. So these need uh, arcane. Let's scale with a some of that stuff. And the fork also needs arcane and scales with some of that stuff. You only get a uh, cause blood loss with the with the fork though, you don't get it with the with the arm. Ah, that was tricky. But we got him. Outer God Heirloom. Erases Arcane. A talisman engraved with the law of an outer god raises Arcane. The clan, who lost everything in the grave fires, peered upon the corpse of their ancestor. Normally an act of sanctity, saw in its shadow a twisted deity. The clan had suffered such torment that the horrible thing was taken as an object of worship. Kind of looks a little bit like the squid-faced guy that we've seen in a few places. Then in front of him there's three people bowing down well, katowing, really, in worship at the bottom of the charm. It's kind of interesting. There's a lot of burnt out cloth areas from where uh, I guess those guys came through and just torched the place. Seems like these guys became. Super gross guys after that. Hmm. So we did the walk through here. We can get rid of this. And this enemy that killed me a billion times doesn't need to be a skull because they're all over the game. And we can't get down to where two is. Um. Yeah. I never did find the cross that's supposed to be over there. Let's look at the cross map again. Ah, so it's up across the bridge and then quite a bit further in. Probably about where that um, tr giant troll in armor was that killed me. 
roughly about there. So I think we want to head down to this first thing tomorrow. So this looks like the right place to be saved. And uh, yeah, I think I'm going to bail out an entire 10 minutes early. Because it's, it's tough to keep my eyes open right now. I don't know what's wrong with me. But we played for like another five hours. And we did pretty well, I think. It's lots of fun. Hopefully all my recording and streaming went fine. Bandai Namco seemed to have a completely new logo. And yeah, we'll, we'll carry on with some of this tomorrow. Yeah, Shadow of the Earth Tree. A bit strange so far. Not in a bad way, but... It's very unfamiliar, of course, because it's new. Yep. Thumbs up and a wave goodbye. And I'll hopefully see you all tomorrow. Or if you're watching on YouTube, just keep watching. Thank you to my current subscribers, Wisefot, Sly Hippo, and Burton PH. Bye, everybody.